Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and a very good day. I'm Muzaffa bin Zainal Abidin. So today I'm going to explain on the common units being used to measure water quality parameters. So normally people would measure things like a suspended solid, total dissolved solids, BOD, or even metals or non-metals in this unit, milligram per liters. For any substances present in water, the concentration of that substances can be measured using this unit milligram per liters, and that is also equivalent to ppm. That means if you have one milligram per liter, that is also equal to one ppm, and ppm stands for part per million. Okay, what do we mean by one milligram per liters? So I would like to explain that one milligram per liters is basically one milligram of subs, of sub, I'm sorry, of substance divided by one liter of water. So what do we mean also by one ppm? One ppm stands for one part divided by, I'm sorry, one part of substance divided by million parts of water, okay? So if we like to change part into milligrams, so we can also do that. One milligram of substance divided by one million milligram of, of water. <clears throat> so that is actually one ppm. If you have milligram at the numerator, we must also have milligram at the denominator. Okay, now bear in mind that the density of water is actually one gram per centimeter cube, and this is equivalent to one gram per milliliter. And if I like to change this gram into milligram, so I put milligram over there, and then that is equivalent to 1000 milligram divided by, okay, I like to change milliliters to liters, so I put liter over there. So this stands for 10 to the power minus 3. Therefore, that is this, minus 3. Right, if I like to times the numerator with 1,000, so I also have to time the denominator with 1,000. So that will end up to be a million milligram divided by this is minus 3, this is 3, that means we can cancel this thing out. So, end up to be 1 million milligram per liter. So, this is basically the density of water. What it means, in 1 liter of water, the mass of water is 1 million milligrams. Okay, if this equation, I label it as equation one. Okay, so we know that one milligram, one, I'm sorry, it's supposed to be one million. I missed that thing, okay? We can see that the, the mass over here is one million milligram of water. So that is actually equivalent to one liter. So we just substitute one liter into this equation. So end up, we will have one ppm, okay? It's equal to one milligram of substance divided by one liter of water. Therefore, we managed to prove one ppm is equal to one milligram per liter. Okay, that's all for now. So, I'd like to see you guys in the next video.